This is the work of a genius. Ah, I burned my tongue on some tea. Okay. Last week we reviewed a Japanese man on the hunt for a toy. And I gave him the rank of trash panda. And someone didn't really like my ranking. What the hell? Cairo Zen had an issue with that and earned pinned comment. His comment, among others, that I will address right now, uh, is... Let's see. No, Dr. Kamikaze slander will be tolerated. He is bald and I am dropping him lower. There. What else does Cairo say? Hmm. Hector was the henchman. Fire that research team. Sumha! Done! Alright, get lost all of you, you fired Guan Scram! Get out of here, you moochers! That's right, keep moving! You know what? You know what? Yeah. Except you, you stay! But Hector's staying in the bin. And then I ended the episode with Jackie shouting goodbye. And then we go to the place where all our appliances come from. China. 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 Well, technically Hong Kong. Anyway, let's get on with it and, and get me a new editor. I think he escaped when I fired everyone. Everyone, gather round. Meet Foster's newest imaginary friend. What? Not thought that up. We go to a small town that is under the control of an organized axe gang that is feared by the masses and they seek to restore the honor of their boss man after humiliation by a gang of undercover kung fu master. Everybody was kung fu fighting. His men go on to get decimated again. So the big, big, big boss man, well, he gets some hired guns, some top dog hired musical assassins who got 60% of the job done. Too bad that last 40% went on to disrespect the hired guns. Well, technically the hired cousins. And then further disrespect the big boss man himself. And as such, the big boss man went on to find his replacement. The real villain of this story. Here comes the beast! Yes, the beast cometh! He cometh this way! He caught a bullet! He killed the boss man! He caught a bullet! He took over the axe gang! He caught a bullet! He nearly killed the two best martial artists in this movie. He got a bullet. He beats a man into the ground and then he caught a freaking bullet. So, you know, nothing major. And my new research team. Yes, I worked that quickly. Let me just get my henchmen. My new research team tells me that he was in jail because he had no one to fight. Now, the things that came to mind after these came to light was... Damn, this man beat people up in sandals. And then after that, I recovered from the shop and watched the rest of that. And I saw him send his men to go find the Chosen One. All this mystic mumbo-jumbo hogwash. And then challenge him to a fight. But not before seeking his entire army at him. Why? Because you gotta soften your victims. You're not gonna go in there all... What, man? I mean, he could. But where's the fun in that? You gotta just test it. You gotta test if this is worth your energy. And then his man got thrashed predictably. The foot stomping. If that's a thing that he did as a kid. Anyway, he goes on, fights the chosen one. He starts beating up the chosen one. The chosen one starts beating him. He turns into frog man and starts beating the frog into him. And then he goes on to lose the fight after getting a vibe check high fry from the sky after this man met Buddha. Okay, he survived. And then he gets missed by another one after trying to stab good old Steven in the back. Ah, yes. The good old poison tip metal flower booby trap. The classic. My dad used that to get but losses. Yeah, and then after that, he goes on a mystical training thing. I don't think he changed his ways, but he is getting stronger. What the fuck? Is this allowed? What the fuck? Is that allowed? And now, 
Then I went and looked for what I always look for, the mean. And the most peculiar thing happened. You see, usually when I look out for guys like these, you know, the memeless, their search results are filled with everything besides them. But the beast, on the other hand, if you search for him, the only thing that pops up is him. And that brings us to a little thing called meme theory. Time to break out my genius. You see, if you search someone and they don't pop up as the first result, they do not have that meme power yet. But if you search them and they show up, but none of their meme, that means they have that good meme potential building up right there. And this man has meme potential. And for that, I will put him snugly right up there. My friend, you may not be able to take over the universe, the world, or a country, but you are a threat. A Wano threat. We are number one. And with that, I have completed my thought-provoking masterpiece. Thank you very much for watching. I love kung fu movies, actually. I really love them. They're one of the many things I watched with me family and was a gateway to anime in a roundabout way. Like, comment, and subscribe, and also share this masterpiece. It helps my channel grow. I appreciate you. The comments are your chance to rise to glory as well. And your likes, your likes feed my ego. Do it or I'll send you to your maker. I will send you to Jesus. Atheists, you're not excused either. But I say you can leave. I will reduce you to math magics and tune in next week where we balance out this sausage fest that's right we're getting <laughs>